We're out here looking at a frag pump today to see how a tracker can actually speed up the inspection time and improve the quality of a part so that when it leaves here, it is to the spec it's supposed to be. Now, if you look at this frag pump itself, a lot of the measurements that are on here are very tight. So we're looking at features such as perpendicularity and concentricity that have to be within two thousandths to one thousandths of an inch. When you look at these frag pumps, it's a very large component. And traditionally, using hand tools, it might take somewhere in the neighborhood of four to six hours just to inspect this part. With the laser tracker, what we can do is, is actually decrease the time it takes to, to take these measurements and also increase the accuracy. So in about 15 minutes, we can in inspect an entire frag pump, whereas traditionally it would take four to six hours. Some of the features on here you'll see, such as perpendicularity and concentricity, have to be accurate in two to one to two thousandths of an inch. Well, traditionally, when you're using hand tools, you have a lot of variability. With the tracker, we eliminate that, and we hope to show you that this afternoon. One of the key features on these frag pumps is to determine the concentricity from one end of the pump to the other. Now, if you look through here, you've got six diameters that need to be concentric within two thousandths of an inch. With conventional hand tools, that's very difficult and very cumbersome to do. With the laser tracker, we can do that in roughly three to five minutes and get very accurate measurements with, to within one thousandths of an inch. Another key feature will be perpendicularity. Some multiple cylinders going the opposite direction. Once again, we can do that very quickly with the laser tracker. And as we begin the execution, an operator simply now has to follow the screens and follow the prompts. That's asking to measure point one on the plane. So simply follow the ball, picking up each one of these points. The goal right now is to pick up this front face. This will be one of our basic datums. Traditionally, to find out what the flatness of this face is with hand tools is very cumbersome to do, especially on a large face such as this. But from the data we've just collected, not only have we established the data, but we've also measured that plane and determined what the flatness values on this plane are. So you can see now inside the program, it's already asked us to move on to crosshead bore one. So now we'll measure these cylinders. And again, all this information will be taken in 3D space, all from the same location. As it moves the SMR, up and down inside the cylinder. The tracker is re recording the location of the SMR, taking the points, and solving for a cylinder through those points. Now this first crosshead bore has been measured. You can simply move on to the next crosshead bore. And you'll see on the screen, as we're collecting the data, we're also storing the data inside the CAM, CAM2 measure program. The tracker from this distance has an accuracy of one thousandth of an inch. Traditionally, using hand tools and trying to gain that accuracy is near impossible. Because with hand tools, you not only have difficulties with accuracy, but you've also got user error that goes along with it. Once this program is finished, you can export this data out and do all kinds of calculations, such as center to center bore, find out the parallelism between the bores. For this purpose, the goal is to determine the perpendicularity of these crosshead bores with the main bore. The frack pump can be oriented in any position, it does not have to be flat, does not have to be level. It can actually be sitting inside of a machine. You can take the portable laser tracker CMM to the part and inspect the part before it comes off the machine. This is critical, especially if you're, if you're boring a large cylinder. You can go in there and determine if that cylinder is concentric and perpendicular to the features without removing it from the machine. To take this off the machine and get it to the quality lab to inspect, and if any features are incorrect, you'd have to get it back on the machine and re-index it, which is uh, virtually a nightmare with a part this large. So what's been done now is we've actually moved the tracker to a different location to pick up the center bore. And by doing a simple what we call leapfrog function, we were able to move the tracker from one position to the other now we can see the main bore. By taking these dimensions, we're going to establish the center lines of each one of these bearing locations. And we can compare each one of these bearing locations to each other to determine concentricity and to also establish a cylinder through the center points and then determine per perpendicularity with the fluid ends. Again, very quickly, we're just following the SMR around the surface of the feature, taking data, solving for the circle, moving to the second one,
by using the program, we speed it up the time it takes to measure this part. This can also be done by one operator using a remote control, simplifying the process even more. So right now we're measuring the main bearings. And again, we're simply following the SMR along the edge of the profile, collecting the data to determine the diameter, and also to find the center line. During this entire process, all those data is recorded. And you can manipulate the data at the end to determine all the perpendicular areas, concentricities, plus to determine any type of runout, look at the form values on the features, find the dimensions that you need to, and all the data can then be exported out into a report, in an HTML type format, or Microsoft Excel format. So after the program has been ran, an operator completes the measurements, what you now have is a detailed list of the measurements that were taken on each one of those features. So for example, on circle one, you'll see the center location in the X and Y direction, off by three thou and two thou. Again, circle three, off by three thou and two thou. So all this information is now recorded, and we can look to find out where the center lines of each one of these cylinders are in relationship to one another, and also determine perpendicularity. We'd like to say a special thanks to uh, JMAC Tool out here in Fort Worth, Texas, for allowing us to come out and demonstrate the laser tracker product on their part. We hope that uh, this has been beneficial for you, and if you have any more questions, please contact us at www.ferro.com. We'd love to learn how to help you improve your processes to save you time, to save you money, because in the oil field, we all know that downtime costs money.